Hey, what's going on, people? Knowledge here. I'm sure everyone saw the video where Tariq Nasheed ran up on Tommy Sotomayor while doing a Vlad TV interview. And, you know, I'm going to be honest. When I first saw the video, I laughed my ass off. <laughs> you know, I thought it was hilarious. Um, you know, when Tariq Nasheed ran up on him and gave him that, that Coon Award, <laughs> it, was, it was classic. But, um, you know, a lot of people have an issue with it. A lot of people are saying that, you know, Vlad uh, set this situation up. Some people, you know, are saying that, uh, you know, uh, Tariq Nasheed should have shouldn't have done that. You know, he needs to focus on, uh, you know, his issues that he had with Tucker Carlton or, you know, Tucker Carlton allegedly schooling him on his show. But here's the thing, you know, I think we live in a society now where everybody's gangster on the internet, you know, everybody's a troll, everybody's a tough guy behind a computer screen. And, you know, I don't know about everybody else, but for those that know me personally, you know, I'm an old school type of guy. If I have an issue with you, I'm going to confront you personally. And we can sit down, you know, we can discuss it as men. If we got to box it out, we can do that too. But I don't get online and, you know, make tons of videos about somebody or, uh, you know, get on social media and start having these little social media rants cussing somebody out if i have an issue with you and i and i can directly get to you i'm going to do that but that's how i roll but i think a lot of people nowadays you know the minute they have an issue with someone or um you know there's um an aggressive disagreement you know something like what uh tommy and Tariq have been going through for the last couple of months because they've had you know other altercations you know they, they've been back and forth with each other for months but when it's something like that, you know, I'm the type of guy, hey, I, I'm going to approach you. And a lot of people are saying that, you know, Vlad set this whole thing up. But here's the thing, you know, I watch Vlad pretty much every day. You know, I, I like the guy's content. Um, I like how he is, uh, you know, very diverse with his content and the people that he has on his show. And, you know, I don't think Vlad set this situation up. I think what it was, you know, Tommy got on social media and said, you know, I'm going to be in L.A. doing a Vlad TV interview. You know, everybody knows you follow Tariq or whatever. He stays in L.A. Um, and I, I ran into uh, Tariq Nasheed. And you guys that, you know, are not familiar with how the whole L.A. scene is and how it works out here, especially if you're in the entertainment industry, you run into people. You know, there's been people that I've done videos on, good videos and bad videos that I've ran into in my professional life. You know, it is what it is. But, you know, you got a lot of people who will switch up, you know, change up their demeanor, change up their words when you confront them in person. But... You know, how how I look at it is that, you know, I, I don't I don't blame Tariq Nasheed for running up on him. I don't think Vlad um, you know, planned this. I think what happened, like I said, he got on social media, Tommy got on social media, said where he was gonna be at. You know, Tariq Nasheed did his little investigation, found out what time. If you guys watch Vlad on a regular basis, Tariq Nasheed just did um, a series of interviews with Vlad TV, so he knew he knew the location. You know, he knew uh, how to get in there, et cetera, et cetera. And he ran up on him. You know, and he was like, you know, I'm here to give you a cool award. He was like, you was talking all this stuff about, you know, how you was gonna beat my ass and you know and kill me and et cetera, et cetera. And you know, what is it? You know, I'm I'm here in your face, and you and you know, you could tell Tommy didn't really want no problems. You know, and you know, this is not an attack on Tommy or you know, Tariq Nasheed or Vlad, you know, I'm just calling it how it is. And, you know, I feel like, you know, I don't blame Tariq for doing that because when you got, when you've been going back and forth with somebody and, you know, they've been saying things about you, you've been saying things about them. Hey, if you know where they at, why not confirm? And I don't mean, you know, you, you, you use gunplay. I, I never condone, condone um, you know, black folks, anybody in general, resorting to violence or gunplay because of a disagreement or an altercation but it's like at the same time you know if you have a problem with that person confront them you know check their temperature see you know you got to watch your back see if you know if, if they're 100 percent legit about the things they've been saying because like i've said we got a lot of youtube gangsters out here these people who do videos talk a whole lot of shit but then when you see them in person it's a whole different ball game so you know, I don't blame him. You know, I would have done the same thing to Tommy. 
You know, I, if he had the Coon Award to give to him, hey, give him that Coon Award. And if you if you looked at the video, which I can't show the video on this particular video because, you know, of copyright claims and everything. But if you look at the video, you know, Tommy was up there doing the Vlad TV and, you know, he was being a little cocky. You know, he had the UFC belts and, you know, basically displaying the fact that he, he you know, self-proclaims himself as a champion in other words you know he's beating everybody who has tried to come against him so you know he came up there with that type of vibe so it's like when you come up there with that type of vibe you can't get upset if somebody presses you that might not agree with the statement that you're alluding to to the public so i mean you know it is what it is you know i, I think everybody needs to you know chill out with this kumbaya you know, we all need to get along and all because in, in reality, that's not what it is, you know. And I, I, I'm always pro, um, you know, black folks unifying and, you know, putting our petty differences to the side. But at the same time, I think that we do need to be, uh, you know, more vocal and one-on-one -on -one with each other. You know, we got to get out of this thing where, you know, people are scared to speak their mind or people are scared to confront people that they feel like are very detrimental to our community. You know, you're out here, you're, just, you're saying a whole bunch of uh, uh, sambo type stuff, and you downgrading the black woman or downgrading the black man or us in general. You can't get mad if somebody pressures you. You know, the same way with, um, you know, a Charles Barkley or a Stephen A. Smith or a Stacey Dash or, uh, uh, you know, Sheriff David Clark. These people get out here and you know, say certain words and regurgitate white talking points, well, hey, you can't get mad if somebody approaches you on that because you better believe if I have an issue with somebody or I feel like the things that you're saying are very detrimental to not just myself but my community, I'm going to approach you on it. I'm not going to sit back and, you know, talk to the person next to me and say, oh, look at that motherfucker over there. Look at he been saying, oh, no, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to walk to you and I'm going to confront you about the things you've been doing or saying. So, you know, I, I don't blame Tariq Nasheed. Um, but, you know, again, this is not a video attacking Tommy, you know, or uh, Tariq or, you know, Vlad. You know, I, I honestly think Vlad was just, you know, being professional. He was he was doing his, his job, you know, and he didn't know that <laughs> Tariq was going to roll up to the studio because when you look at it from Vlad's situation, you got to look at it from a business perspective. If you got two guys that are beefing with each other and, and Vlad has had, um, you know, other artists and, and people, that, you know, within the, the media who, you know, don't really like each other or have, you know, very broad differences of opinions when it comes to social issues. You don't put those two people without telling them in the same room because an altercation could pop off. You know, it could turn violent. You know, they get it, they get in there and start fighting. You talk about equipment being broken, cameras, that stuff is expensive. So to set to purposely set that situation up, you know, it, it's <laughs> it's not it, it wouldn't be a good business, you know, uh look on Vlad. And I, and I one thing I do know about Vlad is that he's very business minded and you know, business comes first. I do know that about him. So I honestly don't think he set this up. And I know a lot of people might disagree with me or whatever, but you know, looking at this guy's history, you know, looking at what he does with his content, looking at the overall situation, I don't think this was in his plan. I think that, you know, Tariq Nasheed just found out where he was at, and, you know, he felt like he wanted to roll up on him, and he wanted to see what was up. And we'll find out more information, you know, as the days go along. We will find out more information. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Let, let's stop being cowards out here. You got an issue with somebody, be respectful, but confront them. Don't get online and acting like a gangster and talking about motherfucker, bitch, and talking all this, this yin-yang. But in person, you know, you you change up. You're a completely different person. You don't want no problems. But, you know, I, that's all I got to say about it. You don't want no problems, big fella. <laughs> you guys give me your opinion, man. I'm out. Peace.